Are there certain like calculations and metrics that need to be met when you're talking HVAC within a recording studio? Absolutely. I mean, HVAC professionals, uh, they're going to be designing these systems. Like we, we know a lot about HVAC, but mm-hmm. we would not call ourselves HVAC contractors or designers, uh, but we can help guide them through that process. And uh, they're going to be looking at things and language that we share would be things like noise criteria. Mm-hmm. Uh, noise criteria is a uh, one number rating um, that uh, is kind of... Uh, giving you an idea of how loud a, a, a HVAC system is going to be. And uh, I actually have a graphic here that we can we can share. Uh, this is a, a standardized uh, NC curves graph. And on the Y axis, we have SPL in decibels. And then on the, um, on the X axis, we have frequency in Hertz. And so it goes from low frequencies up to higher frequencies. And then the sound pressure level in decibels is on the Y axis there. And what you do is you measure a room, just its ambient noise with the HVAC running, and you plot those points on, on this uh, graph, and you draw a line to connect them all. And wherever it's going to, to t- uh, cross one of those lines, uh, the highest point where it crosses, like this one in particular, crosses over this light green line here, which is the NC35 line. Um, and, and so we plot our numbers against this. We end up finding out what that NC value is. But HVAC contractors can actually design to an NC requirement. Um, and so we'll typically tell them, that, you know, for a studio, the maximum NC we would want is 20. Um, if we can get it lower than that, that's even better. But NC 20 is kind of the maximum that we would recommend. Uh, because anything louder than that is going to be picked up very easily sure. uh, when you're trying to record and also could be a distraction when you're mixing as well. Because, mm-hmm. um, you know, some of these, these values, it's, it may not just be that waterfall rushing water sound, it could also be low frequency and a rumble, sure. which could impact your mixing decisions when it comes to low end. Yeah. Um, so it's important to have a quiet environment and these NC uh, levels is something that we will uh, set for the HVAC contractor to try to meet. And sure. there's a lot of things with that, um, the NC level, uh, trying to hit that, it's going to be sizing the ducts appropriately, sizing the air handler appropriately, uh, also selecting good grills and terminations, um, mm-hmm. because uh, like the registers that you see for HVAC, they have an NC um, rating associated with them too. So it's sure. like if you designed your system to be NC20, but you pick a bunch of registers that are NC40, then you're going to create extra noise in your system that you just don't want. Sure. Yeah. So with that being said, are there certain techniques or things that people can consider when selecting ducting and installing the ducting? Um, sure. Like, are there certain techniques that can help? get that level that you want. Absolutely. I mean, with uh, HVAC professionals, a lot of times they're going to look at um, what CFMs they're pushing, like cubic feet per minute. Mm-hmm. And it's just about, a, about the volume of air that you're push, pushing through your system. And But we want to try to boil that down to a feet per minute um, uh, metric. And typically, if you get, you know, a a thousand or or, uh, below, it's good. But if you go below 500, it's excellent. Um, So we're trying to get that FPM number, uh, feet per minute number, down to that 500 or lower. Sure. And the way you do that is that you take your cubic feet per minute that that the HVAC contractor is wanting to push to keep the rooms um, heated or cooled properly. Mm -hmm. But then you have to divide that through with the cross-sectional area of your duct size that you're using. So the nice thing is, is if you use really large oversized ducts, that brings that FPM number down and, okay. and it gets us to a quieter level. So it's just like if you have really small ducts, but you're trying to push a bunch of air through it, mm-hmm. it's that same kind of constriction and whistle type sound that you can you can uh, create more noise that way. Sure. And so that FPM number that we're trying to hit, you know, 500, below 500 is going to be excellent and, and going to be a good system for a studio. Cool. 